spying on your competitors with Google Ads can fully be the reason why you end up 10xing your sales literally overnight with your e-commerce brand. But exactly how do you spy the right way and what kind of things do you look out for so that you can actually compete better with your competitors? Now, one thing I have always recommended in my videos right from the beginning, if you're one of my OG followers, is spying is not a good thing with Google Ads. In fact, you should stay away from spying as much as possible but this is only because 95 percent of the e-commerce store owners actually don't even know how to spy the right way and as a result they end up completely doing it wrong and leading to their own failure because spying excessively can actually lead you to having some disastrous things such as the same landing page style as your competitors or even the same wording when it comes to branding and your overall brand identity or worst part of all you having the same exact product as your competitors i mean I mean, just ask me I've had hundreds and hundreds of e-commerce brands just go out and spy on my own e-commerce brand and as a result end up copying my full brand and the funny thing is I'm always still the first one to find that winning product to have a better brand and these little spires all they end up doing is just following in my footsteps so if you're fine being a follower and just following somebody else in your footsteps by all means spy on them excessively try to copy every single thing that they do but of course if you watch my videos you really want to take your e-commerce brand to the next level you want to scale with Google Ads to the next level so let's now discuss exactly how you should be spying the right way and how to even spy in the first place with Google Ads with your e-commerce brand so first things first before we get into the actual strategy here is exactly what I spy for to learn about when it comes to my competitors first things first I like to spy to figure out their pricing and their images that they're using for my main winning products or just the products that are selling on my e-commerce brand number two I like to spy to view the leaks in their funnel and by the way you will need to spy on them regularly and by regularly I don't mean literally go out and spy every day there's better things you should be doing with your time instead what you should be doing is you should be spying on them every two weeks every four weeks to see where the leaks are within their funnel if they've changed anything in terms of their SEO strategy if their landing page looks different if now for example they did some a b test and their whole landing page is completely messed up you need to understand what their leaks are so that you can come in as an alternative as a better option for an e-commerce brand that sells the same exact product and then actually end up beating them as a result but number three thing why I spy on my competitors is to figure out how we can do everything better than them that's simply it just three main reasons that you should even be spying on your competitors in the first place so if none of these apply to you don't go out waste your time spying on them you have better things to do like run your ads better or make your own funnel better but let's start talking about how to spy on them the right way now as you see right here on my screen I'm in inside one of my Google Ads accounts for one of my e-commerce brands I handle under my Google Ads agency your marketing which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together to take your brand to the next level but the first strategy of spying on your competitors the right way it's only really gonna work for you if you have some previous data already within your Google Ads campaigns and it doesn't matter what campaign you have running it could be a search campaign it could be a shopping and that's irrelevant what is relevant is that you have been running them for quite some time and you have at least a little bit of ad spend in total so the main step that you want to take is from your overview section from your campaign section if you go right here under campaigns on the main campaigns page you want to click on auction insight so when you click on auction insights depending on what overall time frame you're looking at you might just see something displayed at the very top just in one line which says you or you might see other competitors coming up and if you only see you here's what you want to do you want to change the time frame from just this month or whatever it's at right now and change it to all time because once you change it to all time that's when you kind of unleash this powerful spying software Google Ads has within its own dashboard and as you 
see when I changed this to all time, a bunch of these other brands came up right here, which I had zero clue about. And the interesting thing is these brands, you might personally not even have heard of them, but Google in the back end came across these brands through running your ads, through finding out exactly what kind of people shop on your website, what kind of audience members even click on your ads in the first place. So Google, what it did with its smart algorithm is it went into the back end. It figured out exactly what the audience member, what their interests are, what their demographics are, etc. Etc. Et and then it came up with these interesting auction insights, naming all of the competitors which you have. And as you can see right here, it says you for me, which is less than 10% impression share. The main thing that you should be looking at are all of the competitors right above you because these are the main ones. Now, keep in mind, if you're a very broad niche store, like you're maybe even a general store, you might see a bunch of different brands come up here. And a lot of them could be like Target, in this case, Amazon, Etsy, and so on and so forth. Obviously, they're not your main main competitors because they're the biggest brands in the world but if you are running a niche store you should also see some urls here which are very direct very straightforward i mean you might not see it on my screen because it's blurred out for obvious reasons but the number one url right here with almost 20 percent impression share 14% overlap rate. This is the kind of brand that I want to look for because it has such a high overlap rate, which brings me to the second part of this strategy, which is you got to look at the overlap rate and kind of rank it by the overlap rate. But also keep in mind the impression share here, it should be 10% or above. So if it's like less than 10%, it might not necessarily be the best overlap rate, but 10% and above, that's what you want to be looking at. And overlap rate, the more the better, because that means their products are very similar to yours. And there's somewhat of an overlap between what you guys sell so these two at the top are some of my main competitors for this e-commerce brand and right away i know that this is accurate because this is something google has provided to me now of course the first one here it's amazon.com so it's not really ideal for me but the second one it is an actual e-commerce brand that sells very very similar products to me i know because i've already done research into this brand and even the third one with the lower impression share rate so what i'm saying to you with the impression share numbers with the overlap rate numbers take it with a grain of salt because at the end end of the day, what you really want to be looking at is you want to be looking at what these brands are selling. And the only way you will find out is if you go on that brand and actually look at their product. So this is strategy number one for doing some very good competitor analysis. I mean, if once you have enough data running, this is almost always a hundred percent accurate, especially if you have been running ads for quite some time now and have been spending a decent amount of budget with Google ads. But that's the strategy number one, just looking at your competitors here and then going on from here, looking at their ads, looking at their web websites and so on and so forth. That's the first way to spy on them. The second way is actually by searching up the main keyword, but you don't just want to go on a new tab and you just don't want to search it up like that. What you want to do is you want to go on a website called isearchfrom.com because this website, what it does is it mimics a random search done within the United States. So in this case, your IP address, wherever you're located, it's not going to kind of influence this search in any way, shape or form. So what we want to do is country United States or whatever country you're selling within language English device leave it on current and now we want to type in our main keyword so let's take our legendary example of 3d printer and just take a look at what our competitors are and who where they're ranking so right here we can see our top five competitors are these ones right here and these ones are those that are more towards the end so right away we see who our competitors are and by the way in order to even find this main keyword there's ways for you to go about this so you don't have to necessarily just come up with the random keyword on the fly what you can do is from the overview section you can go to the keyword section right here, click on keywords and then go under there to search terms. So from search terms, again, it helps if you have data. If you don't have data, don't worry about it. Just go on to the keyword planner tool and do a little bit of a search for the main keyword within your niche. I mean, obviously you should know what the main keyword is. If you don't just kind of use your website or a competitor's website URL to look into your competitors via the keyword planner tool. But here, if you are running campaigns for a bit of time now, you will see that a lot of the keywords are popping up and they tell you exactly how many sales you have gotten with each keyword. So your main goal should be to kind of go through, look at which keyword got you the most sales. That is not like a brand keyword. So for example, if your brand is Google, don't look for the keyword that says Google itself. You want to look for keywords which describe your product and whatever keyword you find, go on a, this I search from website URL and then just type it in because then you will find all of your main competitors popping up here. And keep in mind, if you click on one of the ads, it's going to take you right back to the Google search because with this tool, you don't have the ability to go 
onto the competitor website. But again, like I told you earlier, I don't really care about their website. What I really care about is what image they're using, what their pricing is, how they're doing their SEO for their titles, and if they're using any Google Merchant Center promotions. Like for example, Best Buy here has reviews here. So maybe if they're my top competitors, maybe I want to look into that as well. But keep things very simple, very straightforward. You just want to search up the main keyword that your brand resonates with or what you are selling to then find more and more keywords with them. But there is another main strategy which I really like to use when it comes to competitor analysis. And that strategy is actually using a website called SEMrush.com. Now, SEMrush, very unique website. It kind of gives you a solid idea of what your own brand, what the competitors are or what their competitors are. You know, it just kind of gives you this little loop that you can go inside and just go round and round and round because it's everlasting. I mean, you're just going to keep on going in circles with it because there are just so many different things you can look into. So for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a random website that pops up here to see what competitors they have. And we can do research as if we're selling this product and as if we are the owners of this website. So let's go on and use the main URL right here and go on over to SEM Rush. So once we go on over to SEM Rush after copying the main URL, and I'm just going to do that really quick, we're going to go on over here and just paste it in. Make sure you paste it in properly with no HTTPS anywhere in front of it. Just kind of the overall URL and just hit search. So if it, the URL is correct and everything, you should see some things popping up like here. Nothing really popped up. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually find another website. Look at the URL here just copy that url really quick and then go back to SEM rush because again if the url is not correct you won't see any data like what happened here so i'm just gonna write something down very quickly so it's prusa research that website that i always show on my youtube videos but this website is a very good example because it has a lot of organic search traffic so they are doing seo very properly but in addition paid search traffic is also on point they have a lot of backlinks so everything is looking very good but our main goal is to spy on the competitors and let's say we are the owners of prusa 3 d so what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down until on SEM rush, you come to this section, which says main organic competitors. Now that's the first section where you can kind of find who your main organic competitors are. And I really like to look at my organic competitors first before really looking at the competitive positioning map, because this is the second area where you can find more competitors. But here, as we can see, these are the main competitors, which we are currently dealing with. So 3d printerly.com, ultimaker.com, simplify 3d.com. And of course, all of these these look like they're 3d printer websites but we can just make sure by just double clicking on it right here just clicking and then going on to their website so make sure it's actually a shop and not like a blog post or something like that this looks like a blog so we're gonna go back to this one right here and again this looks more like an actual store so this might be a better competitor for us so again this is how I'm spying on my competitors not just looking at the overall Google search not even also looking at the auction inside section but also using a tool like this to look at all of my competitors and if you go back to advertising even there's a lot of ways you can find more into your overall advertising area find your competitors and so on and so forth i mean if you go to the domain overview right here you will be able to see as you start to scroll down not only your main keywords which you can then go back into the keyword planner tool or just search up on google but also if you scroll down right here you'll find more and more advertisers coming up like for example your own ads as well as some other things that are very important for you like referring domains top anchors and index pages and so on and so forth again all data which is essential for you to make the right decisions when it comes to finding your competitors and when it comes to competing with them. These are the three main strategies I'm using to spy on my competitors to making sure that I'm always one step ahead of them. Again, don't go too in depth into competitor analysis because then you will end up wasting way too much time looking at what they're doing instead of just focusing on your own journey, focusing on your own website and making it better. But again, if you're doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with Google Ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy the like button, destroy that subscribe button and watch any of these two videos right in front of my face to take your Google Ads journey to the next level. And I will see you in my next video.